Hey guys, here's the Nazgul. Today let's go do one more refueling. Now in the Viper. Here we go. First, a tip. Let's open the adjust controls and test the axis sensors, especially if we have just opened the simulator. This way we will be sure that the sensors are correct in their extension. Let's talk to Tanker. Let's click on list and then on two. This way we will be able to observe the amount of fuel in the tanks while refueling. Just like the F-18 video, we have to approach from the left. It's a pattern. Throughout our approach, we check our speed on the HUD and try to find the best speed. With 290, we are moving forward, so let's slow down. With 275, we are behind, so let's speed up a little now. Now that it's free, let's get closer to the tanker. Take advantage of this moment to fly in formation with the tanker and do a preview of the refueling. To refuel, we need to know how to fly in formation. No one learns to refuel before knowing how to fly in formation. So if you have trouble flying in formation, you probably will not be able to refuel. Now, let's fine tune our speed. With 282, 283, we are moving forward. With 279, we go back. So the tanker is probably 280 or 281 knots. Now opening the air refueling door. See the indicator light right of the HUD. Let's go to our pre-contact position.
Now, before we start, I need to make some quick explanations. The boom has these colors that serve both, the boom operator and aircraft, that can see the system, such as the A-10. The colors are used to show whether the aircraft is too close or too far. Staying in the green is ideal. If get close to red, the operator can disconnect for safety. On the right of the HUD, we have these three signs. The first says that we have the air refueling door open. The second, we are connected and receiving fuel. And the third, that the boom disconnected and the refueling was interrupted. Now, the most important thing. Below the tanker, we have three references. In the middle, a yellow stripe to keep us aligned with the tanker. On the left, we have the vertical rudder, similar to a vertical ruler. Near the U, we are low and must go up. Near the D, we are high and must go down. On the right, we have the horizontal reference, such as the length of the tanker. Near A, we are too far forward and must go after. Close to F, we are behind and must move forward. The ideal is to keep these two references with the green lights in the middle on. Is easy. No. Back in the cockpit, let's stabilize and start approaching the tanker slowly, then make pre-contact. Always pay attention to our speed. The tanker is at 280, 281 knots. Don't worry about the boom. Approaching it will climb up to give us passage. Try to keep this reference. It will keep us at a safe distance from the tanker. This reference of the four engines helps us know if we are forward or after the ideal position. Note that it is necessary to keep making adjustments to the throttle to keep flying with the tanker. There is no other way. Sometimes, even in the ideal position, the tanker does not connect. It is a problem reported by several players. So, sometimes it is necessary to get a little closer to the boom for the connection to occur.
So is refueling the F-16 easy? I don't know. There are pros and cons. It appears the refueling area is smaller. It's easy to disconnect from the tanker. However, because it is with the boom and not a hose, refueling occurs more quickly. Put in the comments what you think. We are coming to the end of the video. Put in the comments what you think. Don't forget to give your like and subscribe. In the FA-18 refueling video, I put some reasons that block us from being successful in refueling. Don't forget to check out Thanks for appreciating. Good flights and see you later. See ya.